Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a pillow. I already installed the screen class key so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to shrink in Z direction first of all. So we press S, Z and we're going to shrink it to something like this. It's a minimum. See, it's less than a half of a, a cube. So yeah. And we're going to enlarge it in each direction. Three. And we're going to enlarge it in y direction also three sorry one two three okay this is the base shape of your pillow good now we're going to edit mode we're going with the cursor on the screen and we press ctrl r and we're going to move it until we see a purple line like that roll with your middle mouse key until you subdivided the face much different but not different but much s like that you click on the mouse key with your left mouse key and you press escape you have to do the same in the opposite direction so control R again roll with your middle mouse key subdivide it in different parts left mouse key press escape doing the same in that direction control R roll with the middle mouse key until we subdivide it in let's say four pieces press escape so every part is now divided in totally different okay we press A double A to select everything going to object mode where we're going to smooth it okay not going to add the material where we're going to say cream or oh, no we're going to choose red i want my pillow to be red so we choose red over here intensity minimize to well, something like that and now open up that and search for that symbol now we're going to choose clothes where we're going to choose cotton the rest will be automatically changed and underneath on the clothes field weight we're going to choose as gravity zero because I don't want that pillow to fall down now do not choose force field over here but add force field now your force field should be positioned in the middle so we be sure that it is position zero 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 otherwise if you put it higher the top will be, will be more blown than underneath if you put it more backwards and forwards let's say I put it somewhere over there you will see that it is more blown to the back and less to the we're going to show you that otherwise choose it in the middle it's good the strength should be around 100 is this more it goes faster if it is less it takes some more time now underneath you can choose with the animation play and you see what's going to happen you see that it, it is blown outside the middle because I've chosen that yeah, if you position it more in the middle it will be better I'm going to bring it back so you can see what's happening okay now we're going to reposition it at zero and we're going to do the same you will see that the bubble is placed in the middle of where you want it now you leave it running until you see the shape of your pillow that you say okay this is my pillow or this is what I want let it run it will uh, come back you can always play it, the video back again or the animation back again until what you, you say this is what, what my pillow should look like and mine should look like this then stop your video if it is not that one but an earlier one play it back and say stop or go back again until you stopped like this if this is what it should look like right click on the pillow go over here to tools and say apply now you lock down your pillow shape through what it should look like now these edges are a bit of my concern so we go to sculpt mode we're going to choose over here flatten 
And now we have two possibilities to change everything. First of all, you have that yellow diameter, which you can change by using that. This means if I now push something, all everything that is in the yellow diameter will be changed or will be flattened. So we're going to shrink it a little bit because I don't, I just want that top to be changed. And you can also play around with the strength. Now, we're going to play a little bit around with it because that edge should be more round and that one also. I'm going to make it a little bit strength. Like this. Okay. And if it is done, what you want, you can play around with the other angle. Now, if the shape is okay, but it is too thick, not a problem also. Go back to object mode and you can press SZ, which you shrink just in Z direction. If your bullet was too thick. Okay, this is more like one. If it's still too thick, press it. Z again. Like that. And if this is okay, I think you have what you got or what you want your pillow. Uh, I think everybody knows how to render it. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Sorry, for the guys who don't know, I'm going to explain it again. So if you want your camera to be positioned correctly, press at the num key zero, then lock your camera view. Now position your pillow through where you want it. Let's say somewhere over there. Oh, a little more angled like this. Okay, when your position is okay, first of all, unlock your camera view. Cursor on the screen, press zero. Now go to render, choose format JPEG, and you have your pillow. If you want the background, you can also, you can also add a plane, which you find over here. Or if you want to more, more light it, you can select your lights, press shift D, position it on the other side, bring it a little more down, a little more to the front, and you render, and you'll see that it, your pillow is more aligned. So, sorry I did not do that for the guys who already knew it, but this is how my pillow will look like. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.